this is the worst I've ever seen. I'm, I've been here a long time, so it's, it's devastating. It really is. So my wife's, we live up on what we call Walnut Street. And my house is up on the side of a hill, not no flood range. And my wife called me at one and said, could you come on home? I've got water coming through the TV room. I don't think it was devastating like a running river, but when she went outside, it was running around our house off the mountain. So I haven't made it there yet. So not two, three miles away from the house, can't go home. I have to stay here until they open up the road. There's no other way to get back the other way because they said the Hokum Holler Road, you can go back about three or four miles and cut back and cut back into Richwood. But you can't, they said it's washed out. So, this house right here, Mr. Gibbons' house, he built this house and he's been in it 67 years. Never has uh, been, uh, it's the first time ever he said he was standing water in the side of his house up to his knees. So the water's coming through the front door? Yeah, there. it's coming from this, I guess it's a culvert or something up here. And It's, it's bad, it's terrible. Are you guys pretty well stuck here right now? Or? Right now, until we can get to Richwood. I've pretty bad. This is the worst flood I've seen in Richwood, and I've been here since 2003. Moved in here right before it hit in 2003, and it's pretty disastrous around here. And my house is fine, but my building and car and Trailer is in underwater, so I guess I'll see how bad it is whenever I'm able to get in town. I've been here since probably 1.31, and I, they're not letting nobody in town, so I can't get in town to see. So. What have you been doing? I just watching stuff float down the river and talking to other people about how bad it is. And, I was just glad to see the rescues come in with some boats and stuff to help the older people that need help. I'm glad to see that come in town. So maybe they can help whoever needs the help worse.